on our way, skipping town, off to the south of France. Wow. <laughs> We've got a horn of Vespas going by apparently. <laughs> like a biker gang, but a Vespa gang. We're getting on a high speed train to Barcelona. Three and a half hours to where are we landing? Meme Center. Meme Center. And then we have a two hour drive from there to a bed and breakfast. Are you excited, Elton John? Oh, yeah, really very excited. For the first time. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. You can go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready, you can go to squarespace.com slash Molly Burke to get 10% off your purchase of a website or domain name. We're on the train. We got like a four seater. And so we have like a table in between and the fourth person never showed up. So we've got all the space to ourselves. Elton John has plenty of room under there. Very comfy. It's lunchtime and the PMS chocolate craving has, it's officially hit. So my mom got this chocolate cookie situation. Which looks quite delicious Yeah, actually. I just had a bite. And it's like a soft, really soft chocolate girl. Okay, let me back to show you. It's like a soft chocolate in like a cookie. Really yummy. Not too sweet, which is perfect for me. And then a classic French lunch with a croc monsieur. Nice and warm, smells delish. And then I got a cup of tea. I'm trying to see if he wants water. It just got bumpy and he like suddenly stood up and this was, the table was flipped over and he like boinked his head. He's being so cute. Just resting your head on my lap. Okay, so we just got to meme. And we have a two hour drive ahead and we're figuring out our car rental. So my dad's going to go get it because it's a, like a couple minute walk away from the train station. And there's a Starbucks, so we're just sitting here with all of our bags and we grab some refreshing drinks. I don't usually order refreshers, but I just wanted something fresh. <laughs> and uh, I've never heard of this one, so we're gonna give it a taste test together. It's in like a glass, glass. which is so weird. And it is like a green tea lime refresher, I believe. Good. I almost, tried it. It's very good. It's yeah. very refreshing. It almost tastes like there's mint in it. Do you know what it tastes there is, like? I think there is mint in it. It tastes like a mojito. Yeah, it does it actually, yeah. Like if you put some white rum in there, that's a mojito. Yeah. Here we're seeing some B-roll out the window of the train. It's a gray day, but the land is so green. It's fields full of really tall grass and plants and then trees. Then we catch a glimpse of some of the town, very beige, rich, detailed architecture. <laughs> We're taking a break from the road trip to have his dinner, get a little stretch of the legs for LT, get some water. I accidentally poured water into his bowl um, and he won't eat it or won't drink it because he wanted his dinner first. So now he has to eat his dinner out of a bag, which as you can see, is no, it's actually done, babe. Now you're just, <laughs> now you're just licking the bag. Okay, now will you drink your water? There's nothing in here. Take the bag away, Neve. There we go. It's gone. It's go no, it's gone. I'm Water so hungry. Elton, you've been panting the whole drive. Come on now. Okay, I'm gonna walk him around for a Yeah, you know what? Poop. He might want to poop. Elton pooped, he ate, he drank, and he's a happy boy, even though I accidentally walked into his water bowl and kicked half of the water out. But we found more. We got more. And he's very smiley now. You're much happier, boy. B-roll out of the car window through the small town with just the unique, gorgeous buildings, gorgeous landscape. Oh, I wish I could speak French. Oh. Be particularly happy at the wedding. Elson John is saying, yeah, I wish you did too. Yeah, yeah. I know. I only know the dog. It's probably Grapery. a lot of guys Grapery. Saying, but... <gasps> Restaurant Grapery. Grapes. Oh my God. Are you no, happy? I love boy? crepes. I love crepes. We've arrived. We've arrived and it smells incredible. It smells like actual perfume. It is so floral. I've never opened a car door and been like flooded with such a scent of real flowers in my life. It's amazing. Middle of nowhere, south of France. Here we are. <laughs> Loving it. Loving it. Uncle Lead the way there, LT. Uncle Brady's wedding. Let's go. Lead the way. Oh, he's thrilled. Hello. Ah. 
Hello. Welcome. You got here first. Welcome to our little French cottage for the week. My brother is truly getting married in the middle of nowhere south of France. Like, even people from here have never heard of it. It's a town of 450 people, like I said, so. Total country cottage wedding. And we have a little home. And a garden. In the middle of the mountains for a week. Welcome and a pool. In. Is a pool? More gardens? Elton's going to love it. Oh, he's smelling all the flowers and things. And we'll be eating meals out here. Okay, I'm going to go on in and I you will do show the everybody. You do the B-roll tour. Robin, yeah. good luck describing it. <laughs> That's, it's like a cave. It's like a cave. And here is some B-roll of the entire space that they're staying. The walls are exposed stone that looks very textured. I'm sure Molly loved that. And it's very castle-like. It feels a little bit modernized medieval, if that makes any sense, or if that's just purely a contradiction. There's brighter colors in rooms where the stone has a yellow hue, but then it has more of a gray, cooler toned hue in other rooms. The bathroom is very modernized. They have some wood paneling. There's a beautiful plant-filled courtyard outside. It looks like a stunning, unique place to stay. I want to go here. Planes, trains, automobiles, time changes. We have arrived for our first Whoa, meal. Whoa, look Thank at this. We're having steak frites, red wine, a classic salad. Mm -hmm. In this like tiny little country town, it's so cute. Um, it's like playing charades because we don't speak French and they speak very little English. Their English is much better than our French, I'll have you know though. Google Translate's coming in clutch. Um, also, there's a Bernie's Mountain dog. I want to snuggle him. So does just... Elton. Yeah, Elton's like, oh, he's cute. Are we related? He looks like you, you can see the uh, family resemblance. Oh my god. <laughs> Elton's having so much fun. He's having so show. much fun. <laughs> instead of lavender. Oh, Elton's friend is back. This is Elton's friend come to visit. And here we have some b-roll of just the landscape of the area that they're staying. It's a lot of exposed like stone walls and there's plants that have grown all around them and the view of the hills. It really truly is really remote France. It's just hills and beautiful plants and flowers and it's a beautiful clear sunny day it's stunning there's a clip of molly's grandma from ireland there's this little kitty cat that is on the roof that hangs out on the property which is super cute then we have this beautiful shot driving up this long road that goes straight toward this big beautiful house where molly's grandma is staying it looks like a mansion it feels like royalty. You drive up around a loop and pull up in front. Like, like the Princess Diaries. Why is that the only thing I can think of? Okay, we had our first day in the south of France yesterday, which was very busy, just getting everything organized, doing grocery shopping, picking up people from train stations that are an hour and a half away, getting all the family together. We met Leah's family for the first time. We literally met my brother's fiance's family for the first time yesterday. And they're such a delight, aren't they? Oh, they're so sweet. They're so they're lovely. So, lovely yeah. so we saw Brady and Leah, and yeah, it's just been very hectic. Oh, we picked up my boyfriend. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and, um... Yeah, so I'm wearing my wedding PJs. This was really, really, really sweet. I've had like a couple different brands reach out being like, we heard your brother's getting married. We'd love to send something for him and his wife. And like, with not like not asking me to share it or anything. And I just thought that was like very, very sweet. So my favorite pajama company um, is Bedhead. And they released a wedding collection. And when they heard that my brother's wife was, well, my brother's wife in two hours, <laughs> the legal ceremony is today. Okay, anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, was getting married. They were like, we'd love to like let her pick from the bridal collection for her and her bridal party. So these are the PJs. I'm not in the bridal party, but 
they, she said I could get one too. <laughs> so I got the matching set. Um, so all the bridal party are wearing these and we gave them to her yesterday and she was like so happy and excited. These are the ones that she picked for everybody. And my mom even got a Snoopy pair. I did and I just love them and I don't like pajamas, but I love my pajamas. It's just super comfy. So comfy. So I feel very cute and wedding festive. And now I have to quickly get dressed. The best part about being blind is I can literally do my makeup anywhere. So the past two days that we've been here, I've sat outside on our deck and did my makeup in the like sun of the south of France. It's gorgeous. And so I'm just going to get dressed now, do my makeup, and then we're heading to the... No not do my makeup, eat my breakfast, my lord. And then we're gonna head to the legal ceremony. It's about an hour away. So we're going to the mayor's office and they're legally getting married. It's just gonna be a small intimate group. Grandmas, parents and siblings, and then two friends that are like doing the signing, the notary. And then we're heading back to her parents' place for a little celebratory brunch. My brother is literally going to be married today. Crazy. We're halfway there. Oh. <laughs> Two bus loads of specials. Hey Molly, I can see you through the uh... oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that cool? <laughs> oh yeah, through the thing. I know. Are you sure there's nothing you want to say? We're on our way to the legal <laughs> ceremony. It's Yay. very exciting. It'll be all in French. None of us will understand a thing. And it doesn't matter. It's the same in every language. Can't wait. Just will you marry this one? You marry that one? That's it. You're such Pray a... God, they say yes. <laughs> I do! I can't believe it! I feel like nobody's gonna go swimming anyways! You're actually in the water! Look yeah. at you! Like a swimsuit fit me perfect! It does! It matches the color of the pool! Like, it's, it's beautiful! So, that last clip you saw was me swimming in the family pool at Leia's family's house following the legal wedding ceremony on the Thursday. So they had their legal ceremony on the Thursday that was like at the courthouse. It was so freaking cute. Oh my god. We were all just beaming ear to ear. And then Leia's family had like a little party at their house. It was catered, there was lots of rosé, it was delightful. A bunch of us went swimming, even though my mom didn't think anybody would go swimming. I got it. Yeah. Proud of myself. I'm not good with cold water, so I'm proud that I. You did very well. I got in and thank thankfully Leia let me borrow her suit her suitcase, her swimsuit, and we're the same size. So all worked out, we had a great time. And from here, things got a little hectic so I want to walk you through what happened because we didn't really vlog much from there on out due to the hecticness but I'm gonna get there after I thank the sponsor of today's video Squarespace you guys know I host my website squarespace.com slash Molly Burke official no nope. that's not my website my website is Molly Burke official .com. My brain evidently is not working today, so stick with me, <laughs> folks. Uh, that's where I host my website and have for a very long time. I love it because even if you're not like a web designer or developer, they make it really easy for absolutely anybody to start and grow a beautiful online business. Uh, they have all these different templates that you can select from, and then even once you've selected a template, you're not like stuck with it as is. You can change it and create it to look unique so that honestly, like nobody knows you even used a template. It could have been, you could have paid like a designer $20,000 to make it, but really you did it all yourself with a Squarespace template. So love that for all of us. Using Squarespace gives you access to tons of marketing tools and analytics. You can also design and sell merch. You can have a shop with digital or physical products. You can book in-person or virtual appointments and so much more. Go to squarespace.com for your free trial and when you're ready, you can use code Molly Burke or go to squarespace.com slash Molly Burke to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain name. <sighs> All right. So um, basically like every day leading up to the legal ceremony and every day after was just so hectic. Um, you know, weddings, right? They're always a little stressful and the job of the family of the bride and groom is to make it the least amount stressful for the bride and groom so that they can just enjoy their special time. So uh, we were just kind of chaotically running around setting out fires. Wasn't there like a fire multiple <laughs> times a day? There was um, a fire, oh, oh multiple times, multiple times. Multiple times, times every Medication day. Medication forgotten, there was, oh. Airbnbs getting canceled, <laughs> flight changes. Uh, driving issues, food issues, driving up very people getting sick, 
like uh, having to n n switch locations like it was hectic to say the least Within and 10 minutes do you remember on the morning of the wedding you can repeat this because the boy can't hear me but it was like four different emails texts coming in saying i'm sick i'm sick <laughs> i'm sick yeah. And the dog's sake. <laughs> yeah, it was like truly chaos. The good news is Elton John lived his best mountain bear lifestyle. It was much cooler than Barcelona. Don't get me wrong, it was still very warm, but much cooler than Barcelona. So if you saw this video, you know that Elton basically couldn't work at all in Barcelona. Um, so he was having the best time ever. The, the two dogs that you saw him playing with earlier in this video, uh, they would like come to the door and be like, can Elton come to play? And then we'd like let them out and they'd all just like run through the mountains together and come back. And then Elton would like wander over to them. I would just let him out and he would wander over to there where they lived and he would like stand outside their door and they would let them out to go play. Like it was so cute. So he lived his best mountain bear life. His tail and his elbows were like filled with leaves and burrs and God knows what else. But he was like, I love it. Like he thrived. So that was great. One less thing to worry about than in Barcelona. But basically we had everything else to worry about, so it was good to at least have not that. Um, I was dealing with a ridiculous amount of fight or flight energy and the utmost of sensory overstimulation. So those two things combined were relatively miserable, but most importantly, the wedding was flawless. And like, that was why we were there. That was what was ma what mattered. Like we weren't there for vacation. You know, we weren't there to relax. We were there for a wedding. And everybody knows weddings are chaotic. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And this was just no different. But on the Friday night, they had this like gorgeous, like rose and pizza party at the wedding site, which is essentially a campsite that they rented out. Um, and so a lot of their friends and family were camping well mostly friends were like camping on the campsite with them and it was just like a whole weekend of celebration um and it rained all day friday like poured rain the thunderstorm was crazy wasn't yeah. it and the weather like was consistently beautiful for the forecast and yeah and then it was just like this massive thunderstorm on the friday but as we're pulling up for the rose pizza party night the sun comes out the sky is clear for the first time since like midnight the night before. It was like gorgeous. It was just glorious. God was shining down. And then the next day was the big wedding day. As my mom said, wedding day, like all these texts within 10 minutes were coming in like, I'm sick, so-and-so needs medication. We need to get so-and-so to a doctor. The dog is sick. Like it was ridiculous, but we got it all sorted. Everybody kept their heads level-headed. And then there we just- There was a doctor on site as well. Yes, <laughs> there was, was a doctor, a doctor, Leia's aunt. Or Leia's uncle, sorry, living like right above our Airbnb. Um, my boyfriend got a sinus infection, so he like saw the doctor. It was ridiculous. Then we just got ready. We headed to the venue and everything went so beautifully. Leia and Brady both had custom made outfits that were just so perfect and beautiful. And the love and the joy in that room was so palpable. And this, the speeches were so incredible. and. It was relaxed, it was unique, it wasn't formal or stuffy, it was not traditional in any stretch of the imagination, it was just the epitome of them. And I just loved that so much that they didn't try to do what you're meant to do for a wedding, they just did what suited them, their personality, their lifestyle, their story. And it was just magical and everybody was crying and it was perfect and that was all I wanted. So the dinner was like a very tapas style, all these different types of cuisine and these mini plates and there was no formal seating arrangements. You just grabbed your food and sat down wherever you wanted. It was just perfect. And then speeches were scattered throughout. So they had a cocktail hour by this pool that was mountainside and it was all overlooking lavender fields, like just truly stunning. I mean, you guys have seen B-roll throughout this video. It was a beautiful area. And um, the cocktail hour, the parents spoke, and then throughout dinner, uh, the friends spoke, and then right before the party truly kicked off is when the siblings spoke. I was the final of the night, which they did to me on purpose. 
I was like, Brady, why did you make me the last speaker of the night? And he's like, because it was between you and my friends and they have to start drinking earlier. <laughs> Is that what he said? Yeah. I was like, thanks, Brady. What about me? <laughs> I want to drink too. Um, <laughs> so I stayed happy and sober uh, and did my speech at like 1030 at night. And then honestly, after that, I was just really tired. And you guys know I'm not really a dancer. Like I'm not like dance all night long. So my boyfriend and I went home. They provided a shuttle for everybody so that everybody could get back to the residence safely. So my boyfriend and I took the shuttle. We were quite literally the first to get in the shuttle. <laughs> and we were the last. And you guys were the last. My parents. At four in the morning. My parents, my cousins, my uh, my 88 year old grandma all stayed till 4 a.m. which was Dancing. the final shuttle and they danced all night long my mom lost a toenail <laughs> that was that crazy so I'm all I wanted was for everybody else to have a good time oh that was God, my amazing. priority and they did so I'm happy uh, and I got a great night's sleep and then the next morning the Sunday there was a brunch back on the site for everybody to attend and I was like the only one not hungover so I was like what a win for me. Well, I do think some of the French people like they're very good brain gifts. They're so good at not drinking too much. And look at them, they're always fresh. The and then look day. at the Irish and the Canadians. <laughs> Ooh, a little different story. A little rough. Now, you all know I love fashion more than most. And I've been planning my outfits along with my mother mm -hmm. for like over a year now. And I kept joking that it was my brother's wedding week and my fashion week. And so here's an array of some of my adorable outfits. And here are some photos from the wedding that we have permission to share with all of you. And then uh, basically on the Monday, we then had my grandma's 90th birthday. So Thursday was the legal wedding ceremony. Friday was the pizza party. Saturday was the wedding. Sunday was the brunch. Monday was the birthday lunch. It was exhausting to say the least. And then on the Tuesday, we got up at 5 a.m. and we're on the road by 5.30 heading to take a train to Paris. We had an afternoon and evening in Paris, and then the next day we got up, got in a taxi, went to the airport in Paris, which was chaotic as well. Oh my God, it was so chaotic. So the stressful. Most chaotic part of the journey. So stressful. We were all like, are we all gonna miss flights? The airport is under construction, so it just made it very difficult to navigate. The amount of people that were running, just running through. Stressed. Everybody was stressed. Tension was in the air. Everybody was running, missing flights. It was hectic, but thank God we got to our flight like 20 minutes before boarding, settled, got on our flight, flew home, all was well, and then we just managed to get over jet lag, and that's how it all went. I still can't believe my brother is married. Like, my one and only sibling is married. I just couldn't be happier. Like, I love him and his wife so, so, so much, and they live in the south of France, that's where they plan to spend their life. And so I always have now a beautiful family to go visit in the south of France. And uh, I'll be heading out there a lot more now that he's settled there. They're actually coming to spend Christmas with us, I'm pretty sure. So that's gonna be really lovely. That'll be the next time we see them. It's so hard having such an international family and being a family that is spread so far and wide. But honestly, it makes the time that we see each other that much more meaningful and that much more special. And even though both Barcelona and France were more stressful than I would have liked, that's life. And like I said in my last video, you can't control what happens in your life. All you can control is how you react to it and how you overcome it. And we made the best of sometimes tricky situations. And ultimately, like, the wedding was perfect, the bride and groom were happy, and that's what matters the most. So, so much love in that room, and I'm just so happy for the beautiful couple. And uh, until next time, you can click over here to see that Spain vlog that I keep mentioning, or you can click over here to watch another one of my recent videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye.